Hey everyone, welcome back to my next book preview video. This week we've got Draw Action, 250 Ways to Get Movement into Your Drawings by Carlos Gomez Cabral. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that name wrong as usual. So, quick look at the front and back there. First thing to note is depending where you are, in which country I should say, this one does actually have a different title. So here in the UK, I think it's Draw Action, 250 ways, but in other countries, I think it's something like whoosh, 250 ways to add movement to your drawings, something like that. Um, I'll put links in the description box below anyway. So as usual, I recommend pausing the video here if you want to take a look at the contents properly and break this down, see if it's the kind of thing that interests you. And then let's get straight into it. So I'm just going to preview a few pages whilst I ramble on as usual. And I came across this artist recently, um, quite randomly, on, I think the website is called something like Classes 101 or Class 101, which is like a video course, uh, tutorials, you know, learn to draw type videos. And I found this artist on there and the course looked really cool. So I looked on his Instagram page and I was just instantly drawn to his illustrations. So just sort of black and white sketches like this. I absolutely loved the style. Um, yeah, I was really drawn to it and then I found it had a book. The course was quite a bit more expensive. I think that's like $150 and focuses on, I want to say it's like expressions and things. But I came across the book and I thought I'll give that a go first. I'll try that. It's not expensive to buy. In fact, it's really cheap to buy. I'll put links to where I got mine from in the description box below. I will put links to his social media pages as well. So check those out. So I took a bit of a gamble. As I say, I don't know loads about the artist. And I think this book's quite unique. It's a little bit different to most art books. It's, as you can tell, 250 ways to add movement to your drawings. I'm not sure that all of them are quite ways to add movement, but I think he means it more how to exaggerate things, how to maybe how to stylize them. It's not so much a tutorial book in the sense of focusing on one area in particular um, and giving you an in-depth tutorial or even a step-by-step, -step, not at all like that. To me, it reminds me a little bit more almost of like a magazine or somewhere between a magazine and a book. By the way, as you can see from this, there are various artist interviews throughout this book as well, which is pretty cool. So yeah, it kind of reminds me somewhere between a book and a magazine, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I used to collect Imagine FX art magazines, and I always found them quite interesting to read. It was just, you know, I, I find it easy to just pick up a magazine, read a few pages, skim through, find something I like, compared to, I don't know, reading an anatomy book for comparison. But the downside to magazines for me was I never really took in that much information. I don't think I found them that useful in terms of um, building my art knowledge. I think I found it more entertaining to read and just picking up some tips and tricks. So I do think this book is more useful than a magazine, by the way. So please don't misunderstand me. But I think, you know, it's a pro and a con that it's not focusing on one topic. Um, it really depends what you're looking for. I quite like though that it is just full of tips and tricks because I feel like you could just pick this up without sort of sitting down for hours and reading it. You could literally just flick to any random page and just look at some tips. Yeah, there's an index at the end that's probably quite useful if you're looking for something in particular. By the way, I love this one, I love this sketch. But I think it's just something you could pick up easily and just have a read through any random page and just get enjoyment out of it and hopefully pick up some tips and tricks. So even though it's 250 ways to add movement to your drawings, I kind of think it's more like 250 drawing tricks and tips, let's call it, um, in my opinion. So as for the actual content of the book, I haven't had a huge look through it yet. I haven't read it front to back, I should say. I've only really flipped through it and I like what I see, but I will say some of the tips are quite um, vague. So some of them are better than others. And when you consider that there's 250 in here, I think there's going to be some very valuable information in here. At the end, for example, there's a little bit about uh, resources. And I think it's especially useful if you're an artist that wants to learn how to exaggerate things. So where I'm at, for example, I can draw realistic things, but they're very boring. There's no life to them. There's no energy. Whereas this is sort of how to exaggerate, stylize, add a little bit of movement, as it says. So I think this stuff's a lot more fun, a lot more interesting. But yeah, some of the tips, um, 
I didn't think were actually very detailed. They needed to have more depth to them or more explanation, maybe more examples. And whilst I think that this could be useful for any artist, even a beginner artist, I think if you already have some knowledge as an artist, you're already quite far into your journey, I think you'd find it even more useful and that the tips and tricks with them being quite vague would maybe make more sense to you compared to a beginner. So for example, I kind of thought that maybe instead of a 250 tips and tricks book, it might have been more useful to have like, I don't know, 25 to 50 tips and tricks and just focus on them more, maybe have a couple of pages going into detail and showing more examples. But that's just my opinion. And as already mentioned, I haven't looked through it front to back yet. I think that this is quite a valuable uh, page though. But I'm sure I've shown more than enough for you guys to be able to gauge whether this is your kind of book or not. As mentioned though, it's not an expensive book. And to be honest, a lot of art books can be boring, whereas this one I think is a little bit more fun, a little bit more interesting to read. Again, I'll put links to the artist's work in the description box below, along with where you can buy the book. Aside from that, guys, if you did find this video helpful, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, leave me a comment below, and of course, subscribe for future content. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.